picking and shipping sales orders using Dynamics Edition's Handheld for Warehousing. Here we see one of the setup pages in NAV for Handheld for Warehousing. It lists the users of these devices. It determines which menu they see on their device. The text on the device can be set to a specific language. And we can tick or not tick to allow them the option of choosing a specific pick. If this is not ticked, they will simply be allocated the next pick in sequence. If it is ticked, they will get the option to choose a specific pick. So here we see Martin does not have this option ticked. So if we have a quick look in NAV at the actual picks, we can see there are six picks ready for completion. The one ending 04 is the oldest in sequence. On the right, we can see that the same summary information is shown on the handheld device. The picking queue tells us we have six picks available to complete. So on the device, if we go into the picking menu option, it confirms we have six picks and the sentiment band at the top is red which warns us this needs our attention as it's over the preset threshold whereas here the shipments is green with only two pieces of work this way the device helps manage or direct the warehouse operatives to where the priority work actually is so we go into the pick functionality and I tell it which zone of the warehouse I'm working in which is the pick zone and then it pulls through the first piece of work for me the pick ending 04, which is the first pick in sequence. I was not given the option to choose as this was not ticked on my user setup. The pick instructions on screen tell me what to pick and a suggestion of where to pick it from. So I go and pick the item, I scan the item to confirm what I have picked, and then I scan the racking label to confirm where I've picked it from, and I enter the quantity that I picked. And the pick is completed and posts. So if we look on the left in nav we can see that the pick ending in 04 has now gone from the list and if I close the pick function on the device it returns me to the picking submenu and the pick function is now showing five picks to be completed. The handheld device can also be used to post a warehouse shipment. So firstly within nav I can see that the shipment ending in 016 has the status of completely picked so this is ready to be shipped. On the device screen, I can go into the picking submenu and into the shipment function. I start by scanning the barcode or key entering the shipment number, and the device retrieves the shipment details. This confirms that it is completely picked, so now I need to specify the shipping agent code. This will be DHL. Then I need to enter the shipping agent service, which is standard, and then I enter the number of packages, which is 5. Next I need to enter the shipment weight and finally I enter the package tracking number either by scanning a barcode or entering via the keypad. I can then review these details and post the shipment. On the left in nav we can see that the shipment ending in 016 has now gone from the list. If we go and look at posted warehouse shipments we can see the shipment. Within nav we can review the setup for the device. If we go to the device functions page and if we choose shipment and then data items we can then decide which data items we want to collect from the device. If we untick in the enabled column for shipping agent service for example then the device will not ask for this information.